Hey everyone, this is Dalton at Dalton and CFs, and today we're taking a look at the Transformers animated Voyager class, Starscream. Now for those who don't know, Starscream was, in this series, voiced by Tom Kenny, who you may or may not know as the voice of Spongebob. As much as I'm kind of indifferent about Spongebob, it was good when it started out, but now it's kind of crap. He did a really good job as portraying, you know, a, this version of Starscream, and... I really dug it in the show. I mean, I loved the Transformers Animated Series. A lot of people think that is blasphemy, but it was a really good show, in my opinion. But, as you can see, he is a swept forward wing jet, which in the show they called a Harrier jet, which today, you know, we know is different. But at the same time, this series took place 100 years in our future, so I can see, you know, how this would be now the new Harrier jet. I don't know. But you can see he's in very non-Starscream primary color. He's mostly blue with some red. And you got some black here and on the thrusters. Nice amber here on the cockpit. Blue on the nose cone, which this guy is mostly, you know, solid plastic and really good sized Voyager. I mean, one of my favorite Voyagers out of the series. A lot of people don't care for it, but I really enjoy it. And, you know, he does have some rolling landing gears, so. As for weapons, you can take these, rotate them down and around, and, and fire those missiles, which I'm not going to worry about right now until I get to robot mode. So flip those back. And to start off transformation, you want to rotate the landing gear up. And want to fold these down these pieces down these will become the legs now one thing I like let's raise up the camera and see my hair is as you rotate the waist down bringing up the rest of the jet he's got an automorph feature which gets stuck she brings around the arms and rotates the wings back Kind of got to finish it off by clipping it under where the wheel would be. And from here you just straighten out the legs. As best you can. Yeah, there we go. Open up the feet. Kind of got that classic jet fire style for the feet. Take that up. For the arms, you just want to pretty much just straighten them out. Now, the instructions say to split these apart, and that it's very prone to tabbing off. Just pegs back on. The instructions say to rotate these around like so. I don't see what purpose it's supposed to serve like this, so I just keep it folded up. It keeps those pieces from falling off so you don't lose those. I can get it here. Uh, one thing I do have a problem with are these gold Decepticon symbols. I don't know why they went with that, but I know that the car version has the actual Decepticon symbols. And there we've got animated Starscream in robot mode. Now, as far as weapons go, you've got his null rays here, which you can actually pull them up like this and slide this down. Bring out these extra little cannons here on the side, but I don't care much for that, so I just leave them like this. As far as articulation, his head is on a very restricted ball joint. Shoulders on a forward and back swivel. In and out here at the shoulder, rotate at the bicep, and bends at the elbow. He's got that gorilla arm syndrome, so I guess what are you going to do? His thumb and fingers move, they're just pinned together. Fingers are molded together, but you know, you can move him and clamp down his thumb. No waist articulation due to the transformation. He's got forward and back ratchet at the hip. It's kind of squeaky, but this is an older figure. 
Uh, it's about seven years old now, somewhere around there. But forward and back, rotates 360. Little, you know, really good, tight, indented ratchet there. Swivel here. Weird joint there, but that's for transformation and ratchet at the knee. Ball jointed feet, and you can open and close them. And, you know, like I said before, you can fire the missiles. And one thing about the missiles is they are. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. Let me zoom in here. They do have these kind of shark mouths molded into them, along with the eyes. So that's that's pretty cool that they paid that much attention to detail. But if you don't want them to have these null rays deployed, you can just flip them up like so. And you know that looks all right. I kind of have them displayed on the shelf like this sometimes, or full on. I'm gonna blast you in the face, overhand and underhand, while making a everything's mine kind of clutching thing. I don't know. But you know, this guy's seen a few repaints, uh, namely Skywarp. Sunstorm, which Sunstorm was in a two-pack with Rescue Ratchet, which was the Activator Ratchet painted in kind of the movie colors, that yellow and white. And he was going to be repainted or released as Thundercracker, but very few of those made it out. Uh, the line was pretty much canceled right around the time that Thundercracker was going to come out. Only a few people got the like production samples with the boxes, so that's kind of sad that we couldn't see more out of this. I would have loved to see uh, Ramjet out of this as well as maybe somehow make a slipstream. Maybe just with a new head. I don't know how they do that. But overall, I really enjoy this figure. I have a lot of fun with it. He, If you don't have this Starstream figure in your collection, you need to fix that problem. Oh, another thing, you just have those around. But, but in my opinion, it's you know, one of my favorite Starscream figures that I do have. If I had more Starscream figures, it might be a different opinion, but as far as it goes, this is one of my favorite non-Masterpiece figures of Starscream. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, leave a like down the, you know, on this video. Then also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. All that stuff in the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys on Friday. We'll be taking a look at this little guy next. So, see you then.